My name is Monica. I'm 38 years old and I'm from Peru. I would say that I'm very positive, I'm an easygoing person, and I'm kind of careless. Like, I really want to um, live every second of my life now. Okay, motivation um, and being positive, it's something that I learned that um, when I was very young, I was raised in that way. I was raised to be fearless, to be positive, and to be strong. So I think I was prepared kind of for this process. And of course, my motivation was being a mom at that moment because I wanted to be uh, with my kids. The type of cancer I had was triple negative. And triple negative, basically, it's very aggressive cancer. And basically, it's that there is not a treatment that really targets that type of cancer. You have to have the, the whole combo, which means going to chemo, uh, radiotherapy, and surgery. But in my case also, I have to add that it was not only triple negative, but also was a hereditary cancer. I had this gene that it was um, kind of um, not a good one, and it, it just give you the chance to develop breast cancer. Well, finding out that type of diagnosis is not easy for anyone. Um, it's a challenge and for me, I decided to see that as a gift. Not a good one, but it's a gift because I learned a lot through that experience. I learned how to be more sensible, uh, how, to be, how to value my family, um, how to value life. With cancer, you don't have control. You have just to follow the path, you have to follow the doctor's rules, you have to listen to your body, you have to stop sometimes, you have to rest. And for me, that I'm really, I have a lot of energy and I really want to do a lot of things and I'm, I'm not a person who stays at home, it was kind of difficult, but um, I learned how to listen to my body to my spirit and learn how to be patient and just to enjoy also being like resting and enjoy being alive i'm a, a woman who really uh, likes to feel secure and part of that security for me was my my breast and i know that i have to be conscious that I lost them and this reconstruction, it's a gift. It's like having them back, but with an, in another way, but it makes me happy. And that was the best thing for me, to be happy. That was the most important thing. I mean, do it because you really want to do it, not because you are doing it for somebody else. Family history, it's very important. That's like a red flag. So in my case, I would have wanted to know before that because I, I would have had different decisions, different choices. So try to know as much as you can about breast cancer. Take a look at your family history. I want for women to know that they need to um, touch their bodies, listen to your bodies, and if something change, just go right away to your doctor and let them know. It's your body, it's only yours.